Joe, a shame you don't get any points for that. That was a fine evening's work, wasn't it? They were joking about that in the dressing room, actually. They said good three points, good start to the season. Um, no, but um, again, great habits. You, um, you have a League One side that comes here off the back of a crest of a wave. Um, fantastic squad. They've recruited really, really well. I think another 12 signings are coming over the summer. And um, some achievement they had last year. So I want to thank Joey, for, first of all, for coming over to Twerton and playing against us. It was a real good test for us. Um, but it was also a little statement we made as well. You know, that's a, they've played all their players for 90 minutes. Tough team. Some have gone across to the Chippenham game. We understand that. But that was a, that was a really, really pleasing performance. All-round performance. It's good to build on good habits in pre-season. Last year, Cody Cook and Alex Fletcher were in among the goals and they were again tonight, which is positive going into the campaign a few weeks to go. Yeah, I, I discussed that before the game because I, because it was such three tough games to start with against league opposition. It was more about out-of-possession stuff and making sure our press is right or if we're not pressing, we're blocking off the middle of the pitch or if it's a low block, we're defending the 18-yard box really well and aggressive. We've done that really well. Um, I didn't think we'd get too much success going forward, but we've actually created a lot of chances Saturday against Cheltenham and should have maybe won the game. Um, and tonight we've scored three and maybe should have scored five. And um, the goals, if you look at the goals in isolation, the, um, the move for the first one is just fantastic. It's a flowing move. We've seen it happen here before, out to Elliot. He's done really well, Elliot. Um, and he's put the ball across and it's a great run from Alex across the near post. We, we kept on about it last year, make those runs. Um, and it's a, it's a wonderful finish on the near post. And then, of course, the, the ball from Danny Greenslade. Don't underestimate that, by the way. It's the first time he's cut across the ball with his left foot, flopped it over the back of their back four, and unbelievable touch from Fletch and what a finish in the roof of the net as well. So, and, of course, Cody shows that routine that he's got with his penalty. He goes and puts that away uh, really calmly. And, um, yeah, really pleasing. Those boys are back on the score sheet. But to a man, all of them tonight, I think... I think we're starting to see, like I said, we're starting to see a group that works really hard for each other. Um, the biggest thing, I said it Saturday, they're listening, they're taking in information. Um, it, it feels like night and day from last year, I've got to be honest. And um, I'm really pleased with our recruitment so far. They've blended well as a group, but a lot of work still to do. We, we're, not, we're not saying we've cracked it by no means. Um, they've been away to Portugal, Bristol Rovers, so there might be some fatigue them, I don't know, but... It's all about us tonight and that's all I can comment on and we've we put in a really strong performance. You said it off camera, it feels like the players realise that they've all got competition for their places, healthy yeah. competition for their places, going to spur each other on. Definitely, definitely. That's, um, that's something we were trying to get to. So um, there is certain areas that people know maybe they may start, but we've got people who can double up and play and they're quite versatile. But you've only got to look at the back four, there's some competition in there now. The middle of the park, really strong competition um, and all playing really well at the moment. I want to try and add to it if I can. I said that. I might bring in one or two more to make it real strong competition. We're going to pick up injuries. We're going to pick up suspensions. But at the moment, I'm looking around and it's like for like the changes I'm making. I flipped it around. We've managed the minutes really well as a staff. The players, four of them who, who didn't start Saturday, first team players, if you like, um, they come in and the other ones obviously dropped out of it. But they're all first team players now. It's, um, it's a squad that's really strong in depth. Um, but like I said, I do want a couple more if we can, being, being selfish. Um, but now we go into the camp really positive. It was a handy exercise off the pitch as well. You wanted a big crowd. Were you expecting yeah. as many as 1,908 packed in there tonight? Well, I knew today at lunchtime, I was over watching Bristol City 23s. And um, I knew I spoke, to, I spoke to the club and they said over 600 has been sold online. Generally that happens, we get 1,500 or more. And um, no, really pleasing. Obviously, there's a lot of Bristol Rovers fans. Good night for Chris Lyons. I took him off because he deserves that applause. Um, big night for him. Bristol Rovers against Bath City at Twerk and where he first started watching Bristol Rovers as a young boy. But it was about a work night for us as well. We, um, it was pleasing because it made the game competitive with a big crowd. It would have anyway, but it was extra. It felt like a league game. Ryan Clark turned around to me near the end and said, this is brilliant now. This feels like a league game. We've got to manage it at 2-1. We've got to manage it at 3-1. And um, the, the, the boys did it ever so well. We've got five friendlies remaining. We still have a few trialists for a few of them. What's, what's the plan going forward with them? The same at the moment. Um, we'll keep looking at them. Um, they've helped us out massively. Um, this is probably the best pre-season I've had since I've been at the club because of that. We've managed the boys through in their minutes. We haven't overcooked them early. We're really happy as a group and as staff the way that's gone. Players are as well. But it's also a group we can challenge and push. We go into our camp now Friday morning. Um, there'll be two sessions in it. We'll challenge them physically. They'll take it on and they'll just attack it. And then Saturday morning we'll be up 
a walk, breakfast, and then we'll go and play a game at Evesham. That's the biggest challenge now, Evesham, because no disrespect, because we play three, three league oppositions, you go to Evesham, the grass might be a little bit longer, might be a bit stickier. Might be hot, yeah. Might be hot, <laughs> I think it's about 38 degrees, mind you, it fills it now here. Um, but they, they'll have a right go at us. Mike, Mike, as Mike Ford, who used to be our scout, obviously is managing them, and man, I've got a lot of respect for. They'll work hard, they'll be competitive, but we've got to keep our habits the same. It's no good going up there, not defending, not pressing. It's no good up there, not, not tackling. It's no good going up there, not moving the ball with the ball speed. Um, so we've got to make sure that the boys are on it in that regard. There'll be a bit of fatigue because the camp's tiring. You've been there. You guys are coming up. You'll see what it's all about. We're tired afterwards anyway. But the crucial bit is we're all together for two and a half days. Um, and of course, we've got, we've got a lovely meal out as a team in the evening on the Saturday as well. That's crucial. And then we'll debrief on Sunday morning and then we'll come down um, and we'll, we'll, we'll have Jim's testimonial, which I want to mention again. So as many people as they can come along to Jim's testimonial. I counted on my team, I've got 14 ex-Bath City players in the Southwest Legends. So if you're a Bath City fan, which the majority of people will be that come along to, to give Jim his day, they'll see a lot of ex-Bath City players from my era and obviously the ones from Jim's era. So um, it'll all be set up, the kits will be ready. I'm not sure they'll fit too many of them nowadays, um, but it'll be a really good day. And um, like I say, I want to I promote that and push that again because I'm chairing it and I'm really looking forward to... To, to the camp first and foremost and of course then we'll put our focus on Jim's day yeah that'll be a good day and tonight's been a good night as well thank you well done this Cheers. evening thanks Mark Cheers.